number 17, Rebel Clash. It's quite a badish set with horrible pull rates. And the best card is the boss's orders, Full Art Trainer, which is selling for around £40. Number 16, Darkness Place. I personally really don't like this set. I think it has really bad pull rates and the cards are just meh. And the best card is the Charizard VMAX, which is selling for around £25. Number 15, Celebrations. Personally, I don't think they should bring back old cards from old sets. It was quite a cool idea, though. And the best card is the Charizard that everybody should know, and it sank around £60. Number 14, Battle Styles. I think it's really, really underrated, but it's still a good set. But the best card looks absolutely beautiful. Talking about the best card, the best card is the Tyranitar V, which is selling for around £50 to £70. Number 13, Sword and Shield Besser. It's quite a meta set, and it, but it started off like every single set. And the best card is the Marnie Full Art Trainer, which is selling for around £30. Number 12, Pokemon Go. Honestly, it's quite a meta set, but the cards are quite okay, and they're just quite nice. It's just like the idea. And the best card is the Rainbow Mewtwo V-Star, which is selling for around £20 to £50. Number 11, Vivid Voltage. It's quite a nice set, but I personally think too many Pikachus. And the best card is a Rainbow Pikachu V-Max, which I think is selling for £100 to £150. Number 10, Champion's Path. Honestly, I think it's quite a good set, honestly. We're getting into the good sets, I think, and it's just brilliant. I don't know how to, how to explain it. And the best card is the Rainbow Charizard Max, which is selling for £100. Number 9, Brilliant Stars. It says it in the set. It, it says it in the set name. It's just brilliant. I don't know how to explain it in the old arts are beautiful. And the best card is the Charizard V, which I think is selling for 100 to 120 pounds. Number eight, Shining Fates. I always love a shiny set. And this one's just quite goodish. And the best card is the Charizard V Max Shiny, which is selling for 100 to 150 pounds. Number 7, Chilling Rain. Honestly, people say it's quite hard to pull stuff, but the old arts are too beautiful to pass up on. And the best card is the old art Blazekin V Max, which is selling from £100 to £150. Pounds. Number 6, Evolving Skies. It is extremely overrated, but it's still quite a good set, and I love the old arts. And the best card is obviously the, the Umbreon V Max, which is selling for five hundred pounds. Number five, Silver Tempest. It's the penultimate set for Sword and Shield. I really like the cards, and the Lugia is really good. Talking about the best card, it is the Lugia, which is selling from one hundred to one hundred twenty pounds. Number four, Astro Radiance. Absolutely love the set. All the old arts are beautiful and it, and they're sometimes quite easy to get. And the best card is the Champ V Alt Art, which is selling from 100 to 130 pounds. Number three, Fusion Strike. It's an absolutely great set and all the cards are beautiful, even just a normal card. And the best card is the Gengar V Max Alt Art, which is saying from two hundred pounds to two hundred and sixty. Number four, 
Number two, Crown Zenith. It is crazy about the pull rate, so I, I can still, but I can still, I don't understand it still. And the best card is the Giratina V Star Gold card, which is saying from ninety to one hundred pounds. Number one, Lost Origin. It's my favourite set of all, all time, and it's just extremely good. I, I can't explain it any other way. And the best card is the Giratina V Altar, which is selling from £250 to £260. Pounds. <laughs>